I went over to see the hawk's nest, and when I got there, there was nobody home. All of the young hawks are now flying. I could hear them calling, and this is the first one that I saw, up in the top of a tree, very close to the nest. You can see it call in the next two, and then the third set of pictures from here, what you're seeing is this same hawk, but it's a different one calling. You can see it's not opening its mouth, and but you can hear the calls. I never did find that other hawk until it flew off. While I was watching the hawks, a great blue heron flew by, so I watched it fly for a bit. I was walking away from the nest and I stopped to look back and I saw two hawks land on the nest. They're both standing there now and one of them will in a second hop off and just into the bushes. This one then hops off and stands on a branch right below it. One of the hawks somewhere in the area is still calling. I'm not sure if it's this one, the other one, or if there's a third one around. The one that had landed in the nest and then hopped off is still in there. You can see it. You can see the tail eventually, and it may be um, eating. It kind of looks like it has something to eat, but I'm not sure. I went back to look at the one standing on the branch, and then when I looked back up, the uh, hawk that had been in the in the under, in the, you know, in among the branches, jumped back into the nest, and it does actually look like it's eating. So maybe it brought food, maybe somebody dropped off food. It's really, um, I don't have the complete story. And I finish off this little adventure with both hawks, one standing below the nest, one standing on the nest. And um, nobody's in the nest full time anymore because they all can fly.